Hey everyone, thanks for joining us. We've been reading lots of uh, your comments on our reels and shorts and videos, and uh, many of them pertain to uh, what we do with lake trout, if we eat them, if we like them. And uh, there's a bunch of mixed uh, responses on that uh, that we see in the comments. Uh, we do like to eat the lake trout. We try to keep the smaller ones. And uh, Emily here, uh, does a few different recipes with them that are uh, all very good that our family enjoy. So what we're going to do here today is start with uh, one of our favorites, the Baja fish tacos or uh, Baja fish tacos, if you will. Um, so today is going to be that recipe, but we also have some other ones that we're going to do a series on and show you that uh, not only is lake trout uh, really good, um, but we do uh, eat them regularly with a few different recipes that, who knows, you might want to try yourself. And uh, to tell you the truth, they probably work with uh, any fish that you like to eat. Uh, just lake trout is something that we commonly have. Okay, so what are you going to start with here, Emily? So first and foremost, you need to have your fish fillets ready. So here I have two servings of lake trout. These are freshly caught. They've never been frozen. Bo actually caught this over the weekend. Um, so the first thing that we want to do is season the fish. Um, before we do that, we need to wipe it off so that it's nice and dry. We're going to be frying these in a frying pan with a seasoning on it. So we want to get them nice and dry. I've got my paper towel here ready to go and a plate that I'm going to transfer them on. They've already been deboned. There's nothing in there and I'm not even going to cut them. I'm just going to season them and sear them like they, they are. And then when I cook them on the frying pan, they'll break up naturally as they cook. Emily, as you can tell, does most of the cooking around here. She's really good at it, so we leave that up to her. I, uh, I rarely uh, participate in that part. But before you freak out about woman's work and Emily doing everything, I do the laundry, right? Yeah, I hate laundry. <laughs> laundry is the worst, and putting away the dishwasher. Yeah, the I do worst. the dishes, I do the laundry, so uh, there's... There's undefined lines here. Everybody's chipping in. There's a balance. So now that I've got my dried lake trout fillets or fillets, um, we're gonna get our seasonings together. I've already gone ahead and measured out my seasonings. Um, I'll put all the exact measurements in the caption below. But basically for this seasoning, it's just going to be garlic powder, cumin, paprika, chipotle chili powder, salt and pepper. So once you have everything all measured, you're gonna to toss it into a bowl so you can mix it up and then you're gonna coat the fish with the seasoning. When you coat the fish, do you put them in a bag or anything like that? Nope. This is a really quick recipe, something that Emily whips up uh, after a day of work. Um, usually by the time I get off the couch, turn off YouTube and come in here, supper's ready. So now we have all of our spices blended together. We're going to go ahead and generously season these. There's nothing fancy to it. You just want to make sure that the seasoning is pressed in and you're getting both sides. So if you shake it off, you'll have seasoning left over on the plate that you can just push the other side of the fillet down to season it. Now when you season, do you ever do it from up here? No, oh, because that's weird. I would just make a mess on the floor. It ends up in your sleeve. Yeah, for later. Don't do that because then I have to clean the floor and the clothes. Salt Bay has a, he's mastered the flicking the salt. Like I'm pretty sure he does a workout or something to be able to get that flex in his forearm and bicep to project the salt particles onto his meat. He's an artist. My hands end up like that from the carpal tunnel. <laughs> yeah, maybe you'd be good at it. Maybe that's all you need to do. So 
So, your fish. It smells good. Yeah, cumin has a very distinct smell. It smells very like uh, Baja. -y. Mexican. They're gonna look like this. So, now that that's done, we're going to heat up the frying pan. I'm using a cast iron um, frying pan, but you could use pretty much any type of frying, frying pan you want. We want to sear the fish, so a cast iron just really helps with getting that perfect sear. I'm using olive oil to fry the fish in. You can use whatever oil you want if you have avocado oil or vegetable oil, really whichever you prefer. But for now, I'm just using olive oil and about two tablespoons go into the, uh, the pan. So with these Baja fish tacos, I like to have it with a cilantro lime coleslaw. I just think it really complements the fish flavor. So while our pan is heating up, we're just going to go ahead and prep the sauce mixture for the coleslaw. So this one's really quick and easy. Starting, you just need three tablespoons of mayo. And I just put that right into a glass bowl. Well, you have enough? I don't know. We need to go to Costco and get more. You should have got the big one. Love mayo. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> and then we're gonna need one tablespoon of uh, lime juice. Bo could not find any lime juice at the grocery store and the people there were not very informative. So we're gonna take our lime, squeeze it ourselves, and we just need a tablespoon. This will suck because I don't actually have a juicer. Don't do this do if you have carpal tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> it's going a little numb. <laughs> Look at the flex in the bicep. <laughs> That's one, one tablespoon of lime juice. Just in gotta with do the that mayo. one more time. Yeah. So then it's gonna call for, no, one tablespoon. That was one tablespoon. Oh, that's You're all good. you want? You're good. You're good. <laughs> Take the rest of the day off. <laughs> yeah, you can wash your hands now. So now we're going to add um, a half teaspoon of garlic. You can either do it freshly minced. I don't like to bother with that. The garlic press is a little bit of a pain to clean, but I am going to do, actually, I'm going to change it to two or one full teaspoon of garlic or one clove of garlic. So next up, we'll need about a quarter teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. I already have it measured out here, so we're gonna add that to our mixture. And if you want, I like to do this, it's optional, but I just have a teaspoon, or sorry, a half teaspoon of sugar that I add to this, and it just gives it a nice little sweet taste if you like a sweeter tasting coleslaw. Um, this part, you can skip if you don't like it, but I, I like cilantro. Bo does not like cilantro. The world is divided on whether or not people like it, but it really does complement Mexican cuisine, or if this is really Mexican, who knows? Um, it just tends to complement those flavors and brings out the tanginess of the lime juice. So you can do a third, one third cup of cilantro. So I'll just chop this up and I'll add it to it when I add my coleslaw. So now that we have everything here, we're going to whisk it and then add the coleslaw how's our pan doing oh she's hot now that i have our sauce mixture mixed the pan is ready to go i'm gonna wait to add the coleslaw because i don't really like a soggy coleslaw i like it when it's nice and crisp so i'll just wait until we're ready for that before i add it our pan is nice and hot so we're gonna go ahead and sear our fish fillets Get that nice sizzle. We're just gonna sear that for a few minutes on each side. This is probably the amount of cilantro that I'm gonna use. I'm just gonna wash it, cut it up, and then put it in afterwards. So that way picky eaters don't really get that overpowering taste of cilantro, but if you like it, then the hint of it is there. I am no means a cutting expert. And this is not the knife to do this with. Is this the dullest knife you've ever worked with? Yeah, but it's also a paring knife. It's not even like a, but, hey man. It'll do. Let's have a look at our fish. So 
So the trick to know when your fish is done is if it releases from the pan. Um, you know, this is your typical fish flipper, but it's a cast iron with like a ceramic coating, so I don't think it's gonna work. And yeah, it releases. And look at that sear. So I like to serve my Baja fish tacos with um, obviously the cilantro lime coleslaw, but you can have whatever toppings you want to. I do have an avocado that I'm gonna cut up for garnish, as well as a tomato and a jalapeno, which is probably very spicy because it's a little bit old, but we'll like it. Did I hear jalapenos? Only, uh, I only eat the jalapenos if I have like no plans the next day. Like no, no workouts, deadlifts, squats, long trips. Apparently the age of your hot pepper determines how spicy it's going to be. So if you go to the grocery store and you find a jalapeno that's like fresh, there's no dimples in it, like it's a brand new stiff jalapeno, it's not gonna be super spicy. But if you have one that's got dimples in it, it's a little bit older, you know, maybe it's a little soft, then that's gonna be the one that ruins your day. So if I was a jalapeno, I'd be spicy. You'd be spicy. spicy. You'd be like five Thai chili peppers. Those are the spiciest, the, the Thai chili peppers. They will kill you. When I cook Thai and I use the Thai chili peppers, I have to wear gloves because it is so spicy that you will feel the effects of it burning your fingers and your cuticles, your nails, wherever, for the whole night. I've gone to bed with burning hands. It's like I've been pepper sprayed. I'm like, did I contaminate myself somehow? No, I just cooked Thai food. It's the seeds too that you gotta watch out for. That's what makes it spicy as well. How does that look? Tasty. Let's go ahead and put our stuff together. So with the cilantro coleslaw, I, like, I don't like to add the whole bag at once. It can kind of get overwhelming. So I'll just start off with the half bag. Always end up with some on the floor. Mm-hmm. It was on sale. Was it? No. Not everyone's a winner, I guess. It might not seem like it's enough sauce, but it's enough sauce. Is it even a sauce? What would you call that? Dressing. A dressing, yeah. To insert dressing every single time I say sauce. Let's check on our fish. It's flaking a little and it's white, so that means I know that it's done. So we're just gonna transfer this to a plate. Like so. I have uh, some mini tortillas. Um, they didn't have any small ones. These would probably be the size that you would get at a restaurant. I would have preferred a size up, but they didn't have any, so that's okay. So just to add a little bit of razzle dazzle to your tacos, I'm going to just the lightly- The what? The badges. What's the badges? Badger fish tacos. You mean bayas? <laughs> the bayas. I got my pan still hot. I turned off the heat, um, but I just got a little bit more oil in here, and I'm just gonna like lightly fry these so that they just, you know, do their taco thing. So while my tortillas are getting all nice and toasty, I'm going to lightly flake this fish so that I can put them on the tacos. And lake trout, I mean, it's very 
pink or orange depending on I guess the size of the fish or the type of fish. Sometimes they've been really light colored, sometimes they're dark, but they always fry up or cook to a nice white fish. Look how good that looks. And I like that there's crispy bits too. Nothing better than a nice crispy seasoned fish. So I've got my lightly fried tortillas. Um, they're still pliable, a little bit crispy, and they're gonna have the flavoring from the fish as well. And now I'm gonna go ahead and assemble my tacos, starting with our cilantro lime coleslaw. I've added the cilantro in here. I'm just gonna take a little bit, put it in the taco, and we're gonna take our fish. Then you can add whatever accoutrements you want. We have our chopped avocado, tomatoes. I also have these sauces um, that I just bought at the grocery store. They have a few different flavors. Um, I really like them. They're basically like creamy taco seasoning sauces. This one here is a serrano pepper and whatever picante is, it's a creamy serrano based dressing. Good for drizzling. Mm. You're laughing at something. Something I said. This one is a cilantro lime crema. I bet that this is probably going to be similar to what we made, but we know what the ingredients are in our homemade dressing. This could have something questionable in it. But we're going to eat it anyway. Yeah, it tastes good. <laughs> and then have. don't forget the under nondescript hot sauce of some day. Yes. Some make and model. Tacos are always good with a bit of hot sauce. So you can add whatever you want. We do have Tex-Mex cheese. You can add, um, I like red onions. A little bit of hot sauce there. Do you want the first one? No. Okay, not with all that hot sauce? Well. How is it? Emily's a really good cook and these are awesome. I just, I love these. Whether it's with walleye or the lake trout, it's perfect use of the lake trout. Because lake trout does have, I say a little stronger taste than the walleye. Stronger than cod too, I'd probably say. It's got a different taste than cod. Cod I find is just a salty white fish where mm. lake trout, it's almost, you can tell that it's fresh and that it's fresh water. I don't know how to describe it other Stronger than... Stronger flavor. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, you put the seasoning on it and like I said, there's some other recipes that we'll be um, going through as well and making a series of videos about to show the use of lake trout that you can use for any fish. This is just one of my favorite and I think Emily likes it too and my daughter, if she was here, she'd be enjoying this too. So. Um, I think it's safe to say that uh, uh, lake trout is something that most people who enjoy fish would enjoy eating. I know there's quite a few comments about them being oily, fatty, all that good stuff. Uh, maybe with the bigger one, but it just hasn't been my experience. Uh, for reference, uh, these fish were about 28, 29 inches long. I'm not sure of the weight, but I would estimate the weight being somewhere around seven, to eight pounds, probably under 10 pounds. So I have no problem with the taste of them and we eat them frequently. Mm -hmm. The picture perfect taco. I bet it would also taste really good with mango. Yeah. Mango tends to complement yeah. these type of flavors too. I don't have any, but next time I might try that. I'm gonna take a picture of this because I assembled it nicely before I bite oh, into it. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna eat this then. Okay. It's good. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's good. Let's get plates and sit down and eat supper. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, our Baja fish tacos using lake trout uh, fresh caught from this last weekend. 
uh, just a few days ago. Great meal, relatively healthy, very easy to make, uh, fast, and uh, just an awesome way to use uh, that lake trout. As I said, we'll have other videos in our series with uh, different recipes that Emily uses. Emily will have the recipe in the caption uh, so that you guys can make this for yourself. And again, it doesn't have to be lake trout, but we just thought we'd uh, maybe answer some of those questions out there and show a few ways this can be prepared. And maybe you guys try it. And if you have a, uh, you know, maybe an aversion to uh, uh, lake trout, maybe this will change your mind. Hope so, because I think it's pretty awesome. Pretty good. All right. Thanks for watching everybody. Like and subscribe as always. We really appreciate all the support uh, we've been getting on the channel and Instagram and all that other good stuff. Uh, love it. And uh, what you do on your end with the liking, subscribing, sharing, all that good stuff is uh, what keeps this uh, whole thing moving forward and, and getting us more views and the channel can grow. So uh, like I said, sincerely, thank you very much. We really appreciate it. And good night. We'll see you next time.